Now we have calculated the efficiency for every part and we see that for example the I stay part is uh, not meeting the efficiency requirement that we that we imposed so it's marked in red and what we want to do is right click on the part and then go to assess part and we can check if we can improve the efficiency of this part. The efficiency is calculated with the parallelogram rule as we were saying before and uh, the, the part is rotated and is trying to be optimized on this um, kind of virtual foil of material so that it is using the less um, material as possible. Um, this is probably not the best way of, of uh, placing this so maybe we can do better. We can try to improve this efficiency here. Let's let's tweak a bit this uh, and let's see what happens. Now it's it's not better than before. So we can can try to move things around to, to have a better efficiency. It it may be that some parts are not uh, will never meet the efficiency that requirement that we that we put. And yeah, in this case, these parts are overlapping. So we see that whenever we select something, the parts are always moving together. And this is even less than before. Every time the efficiency is calculated, we get a message here. And in this case, I, I was not able to, to improve. I could get back. Um, from the assessment, either by clicking escape on the keyboard or in the pattern part, I have this button here that allow me to exit the current assessment. And the vamp is also, uh, we can check it, we can go to the assess part and this is maybe where we can improve a bit because this has been placed badly. Yeah, now it's much better, 75.09 and we get back to our model here.